Hello, 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 it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I cannot believe that it's already cloth and paper subscription box time. So if you're interested in seeing what's inside this beautiful box, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, hello and welcome back if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Again, this is Brandy Janae and I am so, so happy to be here with you today for another unboxing video from Cloth and Paper. So I know in the last video I had mentioned that I wasn't sure if I was going to do digital, if I was going to do the pocket. I've decided that I'm doing both, actually. Um, it kind of works better in my life to just have everything um, I guess double. I know it's more work because I am writing in the planner as well as writing on the iPad, but I have found that I don't really consistently check either or. So this way my bases are covered all the way across the board. So, so far it has been working for me. So I will continue to purchase this subscription box because there are obviously going to be things in here that I will continue to need for my pocket. So as I was on Instagram, I did accidentally see a couple of the items that are in here and I was super sad about it because so far I've been really good about avoiding like the sneaks or whatever. But for whatever reason, on that particular day, I came across something and I was like sad, but it's super cute. So I'm excited that it's in here. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and push this to the side because it is big and Let's see what we got. So, of course, we have our What's Inside card. And this is for the March subscription box. So, it'll come with dashboards, daily wellness bundle, essentials pouch, overview tab divider, weekly overview notepad, half sticky note trio, wellness sticker set, window cling, and then journaling cards. And I don't know what this is. Oh, I'm not a pin. Oh, that's funny. They're trying to get you to um, get the pin subscription. So right here in this little, this card was right here. <laughs> and I was like, this is where your pin would be. <laughs> if you were getting the pin subscription box. <laughs> that's hilarious. I don't, that's never been in one of my other boxes before. All right. So this is what I saw online already. And it is the icon stickers and they are super cute. Um, it says there are their transparent stickers and you get three sheets of them and the color is Aspen. Let's see if I can get it out of here. I cannot. All right. Well, there goes the plastic. Okay. So it comes with these little icons. Super cute. I absolutely love this color. I'm not sure how well it's showing up here, but it's a very, very light blue color. It's really pretty. So those are some activity icons. Then you have your drop stickers, which are also super cute. And you have your text stickers. Man, I really love this color. I'm gonna have to see if I can find some more things in this Aspen color because I really really like that I, I tend to stick with like neutrals I really love like grays and tans and beiges and things like that and just more subtle colors in my planner now versus the brighter things especially since I'm like very minimal planning right now this is the what is this I guess this is the pouch the essentials pouch I hate that every I mean I appreciate the fact that everything's wrapped in plastic but I know that sound is really annoying so as usual oh, I'm sorry so this little pouch is super cute it's nice to store all your things in it's a decent size it's interesting to me that it opens all the way up <laughs> but it's super cute so even if you don't use it for planner stuff I'm sure there's lots of things that you could use it for
And we have another bundle of plastic here. So of course we have our date cards, like our monthly journaling card. So here is May, and then I have no idea what this is because it's too small, but it's super cool. Like I like the circle shape. And I do actually use these journaling, or well, these cards. Sometimes like I just put them in the front of my planner just so that I can have like a reference for the month without actually having to like go to a monthly page or anything like that. So then we have this wellness dashboard. Here's another just plain dashboard. And then these are the wellness pages. I've never added a wellness section to my planner. So let's see what this looks like. Maybe I'll add it. Nope, not gonna add it. <laughs> It is cool though. Well, I guess it's not too bad. So it gives you like a daily wellness with your goals and your check-in, affirmation, nutrition. Yeah, I guess it's okay. I might, maybe I'll add a couple pages in there just to see if I actually use it. We'll see. I need to definitely get better at just getting a workout routine scheduled and being more consistent about it. Um, so maybe that'll motivate me to actually use those. We'll see. There's an overview tab, which I love. Can definitely add this in. Then we have this window cling. Life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. So that's super cute. Something I can add to the window. Oh, I like these. Oh yeah, these are much better. So the wellness trackers. I like these. I don't know if I would use it for stretching, but I could probably just change that and put like exercise and then just use this as like a weekly tracker. So my goal and then how many minutes I exercise per week, which is kind of cool. I do need to do better with tracking my water. And then mm, I guess I probably need to do better with tracking screen time, but I really like these half notes. These are super cool. And then, oh, this is wonderful. So I am starting a new job actually on Monday. I will no longer be teaching. And I was thinking like, man, I really wish I had like just a quick little to-do list. I was thinking about actually just making one that I can kind of keep on my desk and check off things as I do this. So this might work. It might be too small, but I don't really know what I'm gonna have to do yet. So it might work. We'll see. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it with me just to see if I can get it to work because it's obviously too large for the pocket so <laughs> that's not gonna work out but yeah i definitely um will take it to work to see if it's something that i can use there just to kind of have a checklist on my desk so anyway that is everything that came in this box is super cute as always very neutral in color which is what i appreciate the most there are some pieces as normal that I will definitely use. And then some pieces that I probably won't use. So I'll end up gifting those, which is always nice. Um, I know my friends really like when I get things that I don't want because it obviously, I'm just one of those people that I'm like, here, you take it. <laughs> so I overall like the box. I'm looking forward to the next one. I hope you guys liked it as well. Please go check out Cloth and Paper dot com online so that you can purchase some of their items i know i have met the seller and she's super super sweet so please go out and support her if you have not already done so thank you all so much for watching again i truly appreciate your support have a good day friends goodbye